Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. What's the best way to start a day, huh? You're right. Coffees and breakdowns. So we're back to writing our song today. And as I mentioned in the previous video, we'll be hitting a breakdown. Let's have a listen what we had in the end of the section, how it transitions into the next riff and how we can start writing it. Alright, so I don't have anything written as always for the next section, but I know we're going into breakdown, so we're gonna try and write a nasty breakdown. Maybe not nasty, I don't know. Let's see how it goes. Um I'll just start with the drums. It'll be the easiest way to write a riff for me. Let's drop it down in tempo here back to 105, because I feel like breakdown will benefit from it. Or maybe even to hundred. Let's try hundred and see how that goes. I'll just try and record something, to be honest, and then go from there. Cool, there's something here. Let's, let's quantize it and see what it's saying. I will change these da da da. So da 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 rather than da 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 da. So two snares, two kicks. Or maybe then add some toms in there, something like that. Let's add some symbols. Best three symbols in the world. Sorry, four. There's a splash somewhere. Best four symbols in the world. Let's see what we can do. Let's go. remove some stuff that should be there. Alright, maybe let's quantize it first to 16th note. Also rather than pressing that you can just press Q on your keyboard. Done. Let's add some toms here. By the way, um, I'm switching between different divisions. Yeah, that's the word, divisions. Um, just so I could see easier which, like how many how many hits I have per beat and stuff like that. So I've got, I've got these shortcuts set up in the shortcuts menu, you know, which is Alt and K. And then that will be There we go, set division value to, and you choose the note. So mine is command shift one, two, three for quarter, eighth or 16 note, then nine for, 30, for 32 note. I guess that's how you say it, I don't know. And then I've got triplets as well, set up to four, five and six. Makes my life easier a little bit when, especially when programming drums. So let's say quarter note, eighth, 16th, 30, second and then triplets here the same here's your tip
thinking maybe it's a little bit too intense, but we'll see what kind of guitar parts I'm gonna come up with. So that's how I usually start writing a breakdown or riff that I'm not sure where it's gonna go. I'm gonna add some sort of drum pattern that I can come up with in on the spot, then edit it so it kind of sits well together, then grab guitar and start fiddling about with it, like bar by bar or section by section, whatever you feel uncomfortable with, to be honest. Let's try that. We finished on Discord. So let's try something similar. Also, a um, few more useful shortcuts for Logic. Um, if you want to monitor your guitar, uh, Control I. Then, if you want to arm your track and get ready for recording, Control R. Or if you just press R, even if the track is unarmed but selected. Um, it will start recording it automatically. Let's record the ending of this in separate bits, just so it's a little bit clearer. Then we can go here, f something a little bit higher maybe. Dan dan da dan 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 I just record that bit. So I came up with a harmony for second guitar just for that bit.
So I just tried out to see if like these notes kind of fit in this for the end section. And I think we can come up with something. Let's re-record the first take. Might need drums for that just to make it easier to record too. Let's re record that to the drums. have listened to the breakdown. Cool. There we go. Got some sort of breakdown. Might change something later on, but we'll see. For now, this will do. So we can move on to the next section of some sort of. <laughs> 